All right, so my bike meter says I've just burned 1,200 calories in two hours of work. Right. So it matters whether I down a Cliff Bar, a Snickers Bar, three bananas, a piece of steak. What, what difference is it? What, well, your body's going to respond to all of them differently. How? So if you eat the Cliff Bar, you're going to take the, the carbohydrate from the Cliff Bar, and you are going to use it to replenish the glycogen supplies in your liver. But the insulin secretion from the Cliff Bar is going to cause you to store whatever calories are in there as fat. Basically, after you work out, it's just crazy. Um, so you, you, you've probably heard this. You know, you've got to work out for like 20 minutes, then you start burning your own fat. So, and you do, which is cool. So you <laughs> down-regulate these enzymes on your fat tissue that allow the fat to come out of your fat tissue, and you upregulate enzymes on your muscle tissue to take the fat up and use it for fuel, because your body's very wonderfully evolved to make sure you never run out of fuel, unless you're running the Boston Marathon and you're going up a hill. Um, well, as soon as down regulate and upregulate, just uh, de de deconstruct you, that then for you us. turn on these hormones on your fat tissue and you burn. After 20 minutes or so. Yeah, so, and they're responding to changes in hormone levels in your circulation, and then um, as soon as you're done exercising, you do the opposite on your fat tissue. So basically your fat tissue gives up fat while you're exercising because you want to you need it for fuel, and then as soon as you're done, it says, give it back. And then you just start sucking it back in, and part of the hunger that follows your two-hour bike ride is because your fat tissue is trying to restock its fat stores just as your liver is and trying to restock And it's going to do that from its, whatever you put in next? It's going to do that from whatever you put in. Okay. So the way you want to, if you actually believe in biology, <laughs> If you want to get rid of your fat sores, you change the, they're very carefully regulated by all these enzymes and hormones, and those, those can be manipulated by diet. But the problem is the way to maximize getting fat out of your fat cells is basically the Atkins diet, which is why Atkins came up with it, because he read the same literature I did, but he read it when it was written, I read it 50 years later, and it was like, hey, you want to get fat out of your fat cells and oxidize it. You don't eat carbs and eat a lot of fat because you actually don't get an insulin response to the fat.